Hey everybody, Hard Tacticon is back, and I am bringing you the final BotCon 2016 review in the form of the Reflector Trio. And they're coming right at you, at least this guy is. Woo! And here we have the BotCon 2016 Troop Builder set, the Reflector Trio. Here we have Spectro, here we have Viewfinder, here's Spyglass, <laughs> no I'm joking, they're all the same. All three of them are exactly 100% the same figure. If you lost this guy and then got another set and sold off the other two, it's the same guy. Now I gotta be honest with y'all, the reason why I am just now reviewing this set, you know like seven months late, is because I lost one of these guys. And to do the final combined camera mode, which is the main reason why people even bought this set, you need all three. No, I mean, I could have been cheap and done it with Shockwave in the middle, but no, we, we got to do it right. Better late than never, huh? So, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt of this guys, which is the main difference besides paint. Of course, it's got a new paint job, but come on. There we go. But yeah, the head sculpt's actually pretty good for a BotCon figure. I mean, it's nothing real special. Even got some flash right there. Man, my finger's big. Look at that. Urgh. But yeah, um, nothing real special, but it looks good. They can look up and, well, up, but not so much down. Got some red eyes, just kind of like a uh, face, mouth. Like they're not happy, they're not sad, they're just existing. I mean, all they look bored. And of course, you know, all three of them have the same head sculpt. Like I said before. And they got this really, really, really pretty. Green color scheme, the, the clear green plastic. I'm really loving that. It's coming off a little darker on camera, just because I suck at lighting, but um, yeah. But yeah, pretty cool figure still. I mean, I was a little disappointed to find out that the Troop Builder set was not going to be uh, Beast Wars related, but apparently they were just dying to do something with that whole secret combined mode that they say Hasbro kind of had plans on doing it for, no, that was me doing this. That probably looked weird. Yeah, they, the word is, is there was plans for Hasbro to do this when they made the uh, bah, 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 Shockwave figure. But I don't know. Hasbro just doesn't care about BotCon normally. They're like, yeah, pay us and use our name and all that. But um, yeah, we're not helping you anymore. <laughs> Whoops. But oh, before I forget, let me go ahead and do this because I always forget. BioCard. Nice piece of artwork there with just one reflector. You actually got three of these if you got the set. And then I think you got a separate one if you got Flash Sentry, which was the um, the golden ticket figure. Again, I don't know if I said it in the previous ones, I probably did, but I kind of regret not going ahead and getting the golden ticket. But yeah, here's his tech specs. Bloom. Sometimes tech specs are just like all over the place. I understand intelligence being eight, but strength being seven, you figure it'd be two or three. And here is the uh, pretty interesting bio, so check that out. Give it a pause for the three, two, one. All right, I'm pause. I'm sure you saw Jax's name in there. It's always Jax's, either Shockwave or Jax's. But yeah, um, they have the same exact uh, Oh my god, my, my brain is not working properly today. Same exact articulation. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you as Shockwave. Which is, you got this thing going on here and this going on. Actually very articulated. Be able to get some crazy wacky poses. Yo. Yeah. Crazy articulation. 
and this crazy articulation is going to help when it comes time to combine them. They do have the uh, gun arm from Shockwave. I mean, it would have been kind of cool if they uh, gave them, you know, made one extra little piece for this set. Since they're making us buy three of the same dang figure. I mean, they're not making us, but they suckered us into it. It was one of the sets that actually sold out. Megatron, this set, and uh, Windraiser. Megatron sold out first, then Windraiser, and then they sold out of these guys. So yeah, that is them in uh, figure mode. Let me roll. Well, nice attention to detail. Big old fat Decepticon symbol. We've got some silver and red and purple and that light blue and the clear green plastic, which, oh, I love the clear green plastic. Kind of boring on the back side. Yeah. So uh, let's get into some uh, comparisons real quick. We're going to go ahead and kind of put these two guys off to the back. And just do individual comparisons here. Get close. Of course, we'll go ahead and compare them with shockers over here. Yeah. Same exact figure, just different paint job, different head here. Except with your deluxes and voyagers, this guy is in scale. This guy is only in scale with uh, legends and you know, using them as a weapon for a Bruticus or what have you. Which, of course, these guys right here can be used as weapons for your Combiner Wars figures, too. Um, my only other reflector figure I have... There we go. Is the Minicom. And yes, I I'm cool enough to do it. We'll go ahead and do it. Because there is nothing better than watching a bot wield himself so we got reflector wielding reflector cool or just flip this back around and clamp and there he's got a camera take some selfies shelfies elfies something yeah there he is you ready a little tight Who else do we got? I got Titans Return Rumble. Yeah, I know what the packaging says. Pretty close to size and him. I've got the Collectors Club Subscription Service 2.0 Secret Figure Rewind. Reject. No, I know this one's re... Pretty sure this one's rewind. I can't remember which one was the secret figure, though. That's them together. He's a little bigger, a little chunkier than uh, Reflector, but I think I like Reflector better. Less backpack. And, uh... Heck, since I got him out for Little Minicom Reflector, here is some Insecticon fun. Much smaller than Scrap Scrapnel or whatever this guy's name is. Yeah, he's just a little smaller except for his little pincer things or whatever. Alright, to get him into his main individual alt mode, it's just like Shockwave. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around. We'll, we'll leave it like this for right now. Go ahead and let's see. Go. Am I doing this right? Oh, no, nah, I ain't doing this right. <laughs> There's a peg hole there. It's, there we go. And a peg right there. Just plug it in. Go ahead and fold this over the little handle. Go ahead and fold it over the little handle. Clamp it. And then we'll do the legs. Fold that around, fold his foot up. You gotta make this little rare thing right here move. And then do the other leg. I 
and clamp it together and there you go. You have got this. Which it can sit flat like that as long as you don't have the handle out. Or you can put the handle out like that. And a lot of different guys can wield them. So yeah, you can even have a reflector <coughs> wielding himself. Kinda. He's a little heavy for him. Yeah, there he is. Can't reflect, I mean, <laughs> reflector cannot hold two of them because he's only got one fist. The other one is just the gun hand. Right. And before I continue, I'm going to get these other two into a little space gun camera mode real quick. Be right back. All right, so here we have the reflector trio in their uh, camera light blaster modes, which looks pretty cool, I have to say. It really does. Um, of course, you got the option to put the peg down and have a different character, depending on how big their fist is, use it. If you look right here, it's got a reflector written on the top. And of course, you got the little targeting thing, which is kind of like your viewfinder. <laughs> but yeah, again, it is just a shockwave mold. But still looking good. All right, now that we got things refocused, we can take a better look at the camera blaster thing modes. I, I was showing you that it does have reflector written there. Uh, got some numbers written there. A little green tip on the blaster. I just really love that green. And that, I mean, it's it's only right there, but that little bit of light blue really breaks things up. And you got little bits of red here and there to further break things up. So all together, I think they look pretty good. Again, handle. Blam, blam, blam. It would have been cool if maybe they added just a dash of paint to the tips of those in there. That would have been cool, but it was probably asking too much. Um, again, they look all exactly the same. Uh, for comparison, let's just move two of them aside. We've got the original version, Shockwave, right there. Here, let me pull their handles out. They sit better without the handles, but then you need the handles to really grip them. So yeah, here we got both versions of the mold. They are both purple, but it's a really different purple. And of course, different tips. And also, of course, like I showed you before, we've got the Minicom version. And uh, went ahead and transformed Titans Return Rumble, so you can see what they look like together. I forgot to mention that my version of, uh, I've been calling him Rumble, I meant Frenzy. Frenzy. <laughs> But yeah, I forgot to mention that um, mine does have uh, repro labels. Yeah, I'm in the uh, Rumble is Blue, Frenzy is Red group. All right, to get these guys into their combined Super Space Spy camera mode, um, we're going to start with the middle piece, which will act as like pretty much this piece right here. And this one's the easier one. You just split the arms, you straighten them out, and let's see, I, I think you have the peg and the little slot pointing up like that on each side. You're gonna have to bear with me guys. <laughs> it's kind of, you gotta have everything just right, not everything, but very certain things just right. So I'm kind of having to remember how to do it, but yeah. Uh, put them in crucifix mode, handle sticking up. So we got that guy done, there's a cat here. All right, and then the other two guys are gonna be kind of forming the body of the camera right here, kind of sloppily. 
So now you got to transform both arms and the legs on this one. But we're going to start with the le uh, arms first. Well, I guess we can need to start with the legs actually, just to get everything in position. Undo the legs, and you're going to fold them to where they're kind of up on the body. Get this right. Kind of like that. Kind of like he's, you know, rolled up into a ball. Getting ready for a bomb hit. And, and this is why I don't think that Hasbro actually meant for this to happen. I think this is just somebody just happened to notice this works out by chance. But yeah, so and straighten their arms up. And this one, I believe you got to have sticking straight back. And the pegs on this piece are down. So like that. See the pegs. And on this side, I believe, let me make sure of this. Yeah, I believe you just have it sticking straight down with the pegs facing out. It's kind of hard to tell with all this mess, this leg mess in the way. This isn't how it goes, but it's sometimes easier to fold his legs like that at first, just to get everything working. Yeah, it looks a mess. For the second one, you just kind of mirror image it. So we'll go ahead, get everything loosened up. Get his legs folded under, up against his chest. And then we're going to keep the handle sticking out straight. Unfold his arm. I believe I'm right on this. I believe. We'll unfold his other arm. I gotta keep his feet flat. And let's see if I did this right. Okay. From here, this arm, the one that's facing out, is what you're going to attach to these pieces. So let's kind of get that <clears throat> clicked together. And this side click together. It's kind of a mess until you get everything just right. And then it's only half a mess. And then you want to get these clicked together. Make sure you have the arm out to where this part is kind of on the shoulder. Otherwise, because these pegs are going to line up perfectly. And they're not clicking together or anything. But they just, they just line up. Then you're going to click these arms together. And uh, from here, let's see, how, how does this work? Yeah, you, um, here's this back piece. Like I said, it's kind of a mess. Fold it down like that. And kind of, you're going to fold it to where this piece right here, it's kind of hard to see, with the little fins that's coming apart, it's going to slide in there. So there we go. And that's about all the connection you get. And yeah, there is the camera mode, pretty much. Yep. Now, from here, you can straighten things up a little bit, clean it up a little bit, all that. But there's not too much more you can do. I think there's some kind of trick with the feet, but I can't remember what it is. To get the feet to kind of clip into something or another. I, I can't remember. I'm, I might be thinking of something else. And we'll get the other feet. Legs right here. There we go. Get this clip back together. Mine doesn't like to uh, stay clipped real strongly. But yeah. There is camera mode. Bam. And that's it. Camera not not really. 
Not really. But, uh, and the bad thing is, is you kind of need that to stay up. So you can't use that as a handle for like another Combiner Wars or what have you figure. But, and this won't work with Combiner Wars, you can kind of spread this a little and put somebody's fist in between those, close it back up, and then kind of hold it like this if you really wanted someone to wield it. Or you could sacrifice an extra connection of that and pull the handle out. But yeah, that is camera mode. And feet keep on messing up. Now, because I'm so cool and I've yet to see anybody else do it, I'm going to get Shockwave into this camera mode. Use him as the middle section. Just for fun, just see what it's like. It'll be fun. Come on now. It'll be fun. Trust me. So, we're going to very carefully try and disassemble this without making too big of a mess. Oh, oh, and see, now this is coming apart. I said without too big of a mess, I guess I didn't mean it very well. Alright, hold on, hold on. Okay. See, now I have lost. Okay. I thought I got lost. It's a mess, man. It's a mess. So, let's go ahead and clamp them right here. Let's see if we can slide that in there. A little, there we go. And then clamp this right here. Clamp. And uh, there we go. Shockwave as part of camera mode. Which is kind of interesting. It um, breaks it up. But yeah, that's about all I can say for Bacon 2016 Reflector Trio, the Troop Builder set. So, let me uh, do this real quick just for fun. Get the last one transformed into robot mode again. Yeah, I said it like that again. So weird. Again. I did it again. All right. So now that is the Botcon 2016 Reflector Trio and Shockwave. And this is Hard Tacticon saying I will see y'all next time.